There you go. So, we Annoying. it again. Yes, you did. Back to its original configuration. Yes. We cleared that floor over there. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> we went over there all the way down this hallway. You will know by Trail of Dead where you've been. So we went on that staircase, we flipped it around. We went up, back on the back side here. And then we went, we jumped down this part. You did. And then we flipped everything. Yeah. Um, so jumping. Did I already clear this floor? Yeah, I think so. So it just mental note, when you dropped down, you did. The drop is where the staircase would be in its alternate position. So if you look straight across, that is where you dropped from. Yeah. So just keep in mind that whenever you see one of those drops, like it represents like coming off of the staircase in its uh, opposite position. So it just if you rotate this, right, where you just came from will now become a drop. Yes. Like the staircase will go over there and yes. then the other side is a drop. Just I'm just pointing out that and yeah. that those openings are not randomly placed yeah, I can on the fall balcony. On the stair to access the floor under. Yeah, the openings are not randomly placed on the balcony. They're placed where the rotations are. Okay. Yeah. There are many, many many floors. Half health. Might as well heal. And now no more magic snipers from above. For now. For now. Yeah, this is the true Duke's Archive experience. Get a little cinematic death, a little prison escape. And then the real level is the library. And bones are already annoying enough. Now we got like crystal bone shit. What's your second ring? My second ring? Yeah. Havel? Uh, what's your first ring? I put the steel? Yeah, okay. All right. That stability, you're seeing it, man. In those blocks, and the difference between your blocks. Oh, when I do this versus theirs? No, just like the amount of stamina bar that dis disappeared went off of that block. You know? So we already came here, right? Or is that just an empty body? Uh, I th think... You might have come there before you died, mm -hmm. and 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 like when you were first just running around. Yeah, you got something there, but uh, yeah, that was a death ago or so. And then okay, clear. Keep going down, I guess. And you can go down from e both sides, mind you. Oh, let's go on the other side. Oh boy. Action Jackson. Also, both sides is in left and right, and first room, second room. Huh? So 
on another floor, is it? What? I'm getting shot at. The archer was uh was below you. Okay. You kind of looked at him for a brief second while you were crossing the stairs. Yeah. When I was uh at the junction. Yep. Right here. Behind me, just in case. Mm -hmm. Hey, you found it. That's a nice bonfire. Bonfire three. Okay. Praise the sun. Praise it indeed. Nope. Yeah, toggle. Well, I mean, you can take a look outside. Enemy ahead. Damn, there's some action here. Yeah. Always look at your surroundings. Yes, always. It almost looks like dragon-like. Like the top could be a snout or something. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh. Looks like some fun skiing. <laughs> Key on a dragon. Uh huh. So now we're at the bottom of this floor, mm -hmm. which means we can start, um, you know, scooping and sweeping from a point of reference. Cameras acting up. Trying to deal with these pillars. Yeah, every time it hits it, eh? Doesn't like them too much. Ow! How dare you? That's on top of shit. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I was like wondering when you'd notice him. You looked at him a couple times, mind you, but uh, he got the best seat in the house. I can tell. Damn. You looking for an angle? Yes, sir, I am. Maybe not where the, uh, the railings are in the way. here and then might not have a a clear spot oh I had time to shoot it if I had a bow that would help <laughs> if I was a bow user Oh, quick stab. I did not expect that. So. That's the way that you uh, came down initially. This is a side fall. And then back in this room, there was another down stair. There's another downward staircase. Did he shoot me all the way? Oh my god, he's good. He's got nothing else to do. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> Practice. Uh oh. So yeah. Get yourself right proper confused. With the four staircases mirrored across What's parallel happening? and perpendicular rooms. Okay. 
Okay. The end. Now. Last time he chose to go down the other stairs. Not instead of these ones. All right, all right. Okay. A little fall there. Let's go around this floor. Huh. Yeah, and you got that. Stop and look around the room. So we came from this doorway. I don't think you actually looked at towards the floor. That's a channeler. Yeah. And... I mean, I didn't hit that floor yet, right? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just want to... Proper bearings. Mm -hmm. And, uh... If you stop right there, and just, yeah, look on top of that bookshelf. On the right side. Oh, I see a chest. Okay, there you go. Oh boy, okay. Oh, yeah. One thing at a time. Perfect. That's exactly how you deal with them. One, two, three, two-handed. They're down for down for the count. Hmm. <laughs> nice try. All his strength into it. Oh, <laughs> it looked kind of shiny. Yeah, it's just a no, it's a bad reflection. Yeah, can't climb these staircases. Not real. You know, blocking a passageway. Keep working your way back uh, through that uh, door. I just wanted to, to look at all the room. Mm -hmm. Recognize him? Yes. Okay, so we're back at the front. Yes, you are. He doesn't care. He seems to care. Yes. So it's just important to mentally map that you walked to the front of the zone. Okay. And the elevator that took you up is now gone, but this is the first room. So we came this way. And we cleaned all of this. There's something on the chest there, which means I'll have to go higher up from the other side. Right. Mm -hmm. And then this was the room on the floor that led to that new bonfire that you sat at. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. 
I didn't think he would be here. You know what? Fortunately, he moves to an easy to access space. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Jeez. That was close. Careful of digging off those walls, bruh. So. Wait, other side. Then that was scary. So was that. And I'm out of this. Game caught up. The blood stains. Huh, it's on the other side. Some people really wanted that archer dead. <laughs> hmm. How do I get back on the other side? You play a mental jigsaw puzzle with these stairway rotations. Yeah. Up the down staircase, down the up staircase, side switch. One to three, two to four. You know? Come on. Well, of course. That was bad. Yeah, since you were out of Estus, I was going to say, like, like you, the back roll there, you might want to go for the kill. Now you gotta deal with this shit. I might wanna just go back to the the bonfire at this point. Uh so it was down this staircase. Bonfire? Yeah. Yeah, you did did you mentally note that Um Yeah, okay. It's it's all the way to the bottom and then behind you. Ahead, right? Mm -hmm. How's the mental map so far? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so 26k souls. I need 12k. Not gonna be happening. You did pick up some pocket souls, but uh, I don't know if it's enough. Not enough, man. Yeah. I think it was a brave warrior. Let me just. Reset you also the picked up some stuff you could read. Nice, I got shot. You picked up a, a, a sorcery, a great magic barrier equivalent. Yes. As well as uh, at least two pocket souls. Strong magic shield, was it? Or the great magic weapon? Strong magic shield. Yes. So, 15 intelligence, high magic augmentation, left shield. At Vinheim Dragon School, only magic swordsmen on special orders are allowed to learn this spell, which grants temporary strength to great shields. Give your shield magic resistance. But is it just great shields? Oh, uh, good question. Uh, that's what it says. But I don't know if that's true. I would assume it's true. Unless it's lying. I do not know. It's lying. Any shield. Okay, cool. Thanks for lying, FromSoft. So... Soul of a Brave and Large Soul of a Brave Warrior. Brave is five. Large Brave is eight. Thirteen... It's good enough. We can do it. Sorry about that. Oh, 
Almost there. Almost. Almost. Your IQ is finally at 35. <laughs> Ooh. I need help. Okie doke. That's taken care of. And unfortunately, the only things that stay dead are the boars. Okay. Oh, not enough. Almost. So yeah, there's this dude shooting at me. Okay, so rotating the middle part. Would I have staggered the, the startup? If you hit him twice, yes. Yeah. Well, that was nice. You have to lock on, though. Got hit, was thinking about healing. If you don't lock on, you're gonna... You're gonna lose time. And he's gonna get away. It is... It is... Like Four Kings, you must rush and swing and rush and swing. Nice sidestep. Yeah, I didn't get stabbed in the face. Yeah. For death. It's literally, like, give him no time to do anything. Whoa! Oh my god, he did his job. Damn, he went out smiling. What a trade. We don't take those. Bad that trade. Nice. That was nice. Took care of me. He went down like, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. It's just formidable. Is it amazing? Literally got out of the. I'm detecting the return of some tilt. <sighs> Not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh shit, it's right here. You have to swing now oh, or I you won't get, get all of it. Back. I tried to get his back. You know how they say, on sight? Yeah. Those dudes, on sight. Can't break that that stance. My two-hander. 
counter damage is real. It's real, and we've seen it and felt it more in this session than any other. Um, yeah, the only suggestion I would have is uh, when you see them, lock on as soon as possible. Sprint as soon as possible. Two hand as soon as possible. And either get a nice side step to dodge the, the magic after it shoots at you, or time the roll. Good. But like, I think that's the o like the only way to not have to deal with them more than uh, once in a spot is immediately lock on, two hands, sprint up, swing, 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 swing. And anything shy of that means you're going to fight them a second time. In my experience. All three of those things immediately, right away. <laughs> like, that's, that's the only other way I can put it. Because, yeah, no, things are hurting. And, uh... You're tough, but... Yeah, I can't muscle your way through everything anymore. That's true. Good hide. Great hide. Pray for a stagger. Giga Drill Breaker. Kindle? Absolutely. I've been walking back and forth thinking about it, but. Brought to you by Bezos. I gotta say, uh, the idea of virtual books, ebooks and stuff, I remember early on I was like, thinking like, yeah, we're gonna get there and it's gonna be really cool. But the screen brightness thing is absolutely a problem. And, uh, who'd have thunk that going backwards to the same tech as fucking TI-86 calculators, watches, <laughs> and Mr. G Mr. Game and & Watch, and such, is what would be the most comfortable reading experience. Oh shit. Hey look! Oh well. There it, it goes. Someone lost a lot of souls right there. Oh, so it's a jutting piece of crystal that they're stabbing you with. The crystal hollows? Uh, yeah. The big stab thing that did the main damage? I think it was a crystal stab. It's not souls, it's an item? Is that true? I don't know. Well, like literally last time I sort of saw the opposite. What is what is here? Let's get to the bottom of this. Also, in my experience, Vagrants were, uh... Like I said, I got a couple of them, and they were... Humanity... Rewards. Oh god, I'm terrible. Hello? <sighs> Same one three times. Yeah, with your current equipment, you have to be afraid of that, that stab. You do not have the liberty. Okay, so they drop a billion types of things. Res they spawn in response to bloodstains being lost or items being dropped or abandoned. 
So there are vagrants that come from souls and vagrants that come from items. Uh huh. Multiple sources. Multiple sources. This zone is a fuck. Good timing. That's his second point. Prepare for the stab this time, though. He goes back where he was. Oh my god. They only have two or, hurt. They only have two or three spots that they go to. Right? So at bare minimum, you don't have to worry. Guy's a little eager. A bit too much. Okay. Get out of my face. You got it. Well, I mean, that's a stretch. You got to the guy who killed you three times. Yeah. Cool. Now you're back to the first landing. Is there an item on him? Yeah. Got us tried it. Now you can stab. Chandler's trident. Be with intelligence. Trident of a Six-Eyed Channeler, sorcerers who serve Seif the Scaleless in collecting human specimens, thrusted in circular motions in a unique martial arts dance that stirs nearby allies into a bloodthirsty frenzy. Check out the move list. Stay back. Get away from me. Get your own sandwich. Big stop, Rotation big at drill. the end. Yeah, that that's the one that did two hits on me. Mm -hmm. um, two hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shimmy, shimmy, ya, yeah, shimmy, ya, yeah, shimmy. It does look cool. Yeah. It does look cool. So it buffs people that you're playing with. It doesn't buff you. Yes, it seems seems all right. Big dance. Yeah. If you ever want a glorified taunt, <laughs> you know, like I feel like that's literally like what they give to, like, um, moblins and and. Uh, uh, um, fucking like who was it there's like a specific enemy maybe in Zelda or something you know I like I think I'm thinking of like so there's something that does like I said Skull Kid earlier but there's something that does that taunting you in, in some game anyway yeah I I can't think of, of one maybe the Skull Kid yeah when he's dancing on the tree stump or whatever? Or? I'm thinking of that, but I'm also- I'm thinking of a game where, like, someone, like, fucks you over and then does that from a high distance. 
and you're like, God damn it. Oh, wow. Enjoy those iframes. So annoying. Alright. Um, so we flip this. That's two. Twinkling. I did not come in this corner. Nothing here. Alive, that means it's new. Mind you, you didn't go all the way behind you either. Well, you might as well walk to the end, right? Yep, okay, it's good. And then you've got. One rotation opening. You came from here. Mm -hmm. Said I missed something. You came up and you and you 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 went this way. And I'm just saying you didn't you didn't go all the way to the other side. To the other side of this entire floor. Okay. Did you? Unless you already did, but I, I don't seem to recall that you did. Okay, good, it's clear. Uh -huh. Watch your stamina. So, yeah, you have these two. Which I believe are already cleared. And then once you rotate, you can... Yep. Finalize that. Map is fuck. Map is fuck. Hey, you're alive. Nice roll. Where'd he go? Above. Yeah, I see. Okay. So, gonna have to rotate this. Even though, is it like necessary at this point? Well, I just ask that you look around uh, at, at the openings on these floors, respectively, before you uh, get lost again. So, there's something across the yeah. you over there, and behind you, if you. Uh, see this opening. This is where you came from. Uh, you're going backwards. That's a, that's to the jail. Okay. This is the entrance way. Confusing. Yes. 
but it is important that you notice those two openings so that you can kind of piece back together which way you're going on that. Get him. Nice. Okay. Um, the stairs rotated. So this far ahead, this point ahead, I haven't been through? Yeah. Nothing here. Okay. There's still that chest on top of the thing. There is still the chest. But besides that, progress. <laughs> At long last. From that brutal maze. Weird shadows. Yeah, you should kill that guy upstairs. So that you don't have to worry about this. The door opened right there, by the way. When you pulled that lever. Okay. Please don't learn. He's not going to leave his shots. Not a good trade. No fucking. You can walk while cooking. Can't yeah, you? I didn't want to freeze. Okay. In front of him, but yeah, I can move a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, now you're not enough to worry about him downstairs. So we opened this door right here. You did. Cool. That's the bonfire. Yeah. Do you want to sit? Are you sure? Before you do, everything's dead right now. Before you repopulate the zone. Just... Sorry. I would be able to just repass here and... It, but that it, that chest is that up chest there is still if you there. still want to, you know. It's easier with a depopulated zone than it is with killing everything again. Because it takes like 25 minutes yeah. to clear this zone out. So, okay. Um, so how would I go about it? Well, I would say I would say finish off the, uh, dealing with that, that little side path you were on. And um, at the very least, or not side path, but like continue pushing through this area. Okay. And then like... You can say you've cleared out, you know. Everything, everything. Weird pottery. Blue titanite chunk. That's decent. Corner here. The secret collection in the back room where all the special books are kept. All the ones that are worth it. You gotta be on the insiders club. Oh, this is a mess. Okay, so you see what that is, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so before you swing, let me show you something as we're finally here. Look at the chain next to the next to the uh, the, the the treasure chest. Okay, run back to the other one that you just opened. Oh, there's no chains. So look at that! Look at that! This one has a chain too. 
They all have chains. This one is silver. Is it different? Do They're black. The, it's not the color of the chain. No. It's the orientation. So this is coming towards me, and this is going towards the back. Yep. I see. And that's how you can instantly spot it. Okay. In addition to... Um, More right. keys. You got a good key? Uh, pull your binoculars out. Stare at it. Can you get closer? It's moving. It's moving. <laughs> One, it's moving. Two, the chain is pointing towards you. Okay. Three, pull out a Lloyd's talisman. Or just use one. Go stand in front of it. Oops, sorry. Put your Estus back on, by the way. So the talisman. Uh, hey, forget this. Just close this menu entirely. Walk all the way up to the chest. Pause it. Go to your main first menu and use a Lloyd's talisman from here. Just drop it on him? Just, no, use it. Use it. Pick up item. Symbol of Avarice. Enchanted Falchion. And you got its treasure. And that's the inside of it. That's nasty. It's very nasty. You can see his body is curled up inside of his head. Oh, shit! And back to sleep. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? That's really weird. So, uh, because you na because this is the treasure, the, the, because you, you get the symbol of avarice here, I figured this would be a good place to uh, show you the, what's going on with these guys, you know? So the mimics... They Those look are different. They look different. They behave different. You got a crystal ember. That's pretty good. Give that to a blacksmith. And you can take their shit from them. Um, if you feel like using a Lloyd's talisman, but you don't want to fight it. Chandler set. The big set with the six eyes. There were a lot of chests in this room. Yep. Did I get them all? Uh, yeah, the only thing construction you didn't do here. is... Exactly. And if you want to leave that mimic alone, you can, I suppose. Or, or not, it's up to you. But you got this contraption here. More stuff. Yep, and you got a little downstairs pathway. Um... Oh, shit, that hurts. They're so annoying. Yeah. Now that is your hard limit. Okay. okay. Just finish getting everything, and then you can say... Backward chain. You've done it. Prism stones. 20. Liar ahead. Okay. I guess I'll have to remember that. Cool. So, now that you've come down here and you've hit the fog gate, would you like to check out uh, what you've picked up? Yeah, there's so many things that I picked up. Okay. So, um, we got a new key. You got a crystal out. You got a new key? Yes. Uh, Go ahead. That's the one? I think so. Cell key? See, yeah, I think it's the cell key. Archive Tower Giant Cell Key. Archive Tower Giant Cell Key. Key to the giant cell below the Duke's Archive Tower. The giant cell once imprisoned countless oh, no, maidens. No, 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 that's not it. Down one. Key to the giant door leading out from the uppermost floor. This one was the one we used, right? At the very beginning? Uh, yeah. Extra, not extra. 
tower cell. Yes, this one. I think? God damn it. Anyways, it frees Big Hat Logan. <laughs> Whichever one it was. Because they're, they're kind of similar. Gi it was Giant Cell Key. Yeah, okay. All right. So it mentions the mistakes again. Okay. Cell once imprisoned countless maidens, but it's now empty save for a few key persons. Big Hat Logan. They struggle to uphold their sanity as hordes of mistakes writhe at fearfully close proximity. Okay. That, that they're talking about Logan. Yes, there we go. So um, then we picked up a set. Uh, yo, yeah. You got the Chandler set. If you want to cosplay the fucks that just took your name for the last couple hours. Yeah, that's fair. They kind of owned me. There you go. Right here. Six-eyed Helm of the Channelers. Helm of the Channelers, sorcerers that serve Seif the Scaleless. So many S's. Uh, the six eyes arranged in two vertical columns compensate for Seif's lack of sight. The heaviest of protective gear for sorcerers and imbued with magic. I can't see. Y'all gotta do it for me. And the robes, even after the onset of Seat's Madness, the Snatchers, as they were often called, ventured far to far lands to find suitable human specimens. The heaviest of protective gear for sorcerers and imbued with magic. I like that. They're still robes, but they're heavier than all other robes. Yep. And so, similar description, similar yep. description. Numbers wise, they're still giving you... They're still giving you robe numbers, but a slight bit of additional protection, right? A little bit of poise on top of having, um, you know, that the the good defense, mid mid resistance there. For robes, if you're going, you, you like yeah, that's that's what's up. It is lighter. Could magic resist, and it might look good on me. If you feel like it, it'd be it. Uh, you can you can definitely rock it. It looks cool. You look like a big old boar shaman. You can match the leggings for massive occult points. Uh, right here, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you look fucking sick. That's kind of badass. Pig wizard. And it matches with the colors it on the match shield. It definitely matches. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah? That's good. That's okay. Good. Uh, you got a crystal ember, and you got um, the symbol of avarice. Yeah. And keep in mind, obviously, there's a defense difference with what you're wearing, but, like, it's, it's uh, for, again, for robes, you're going, you're, you're doing all right. The so. crystal amber, amber for blacksmith weapon, weapon ascension, crystal amber created by Seath himself, handled only by the giant god's blacksmith, ascends plus 10 standard weapon to crystal weapon, crystal weapon can be reinforced to plus 5, they are powerful but brittle, cannot be repaired once broken. So they pretty much tell you. Okay. Yeah. And then the other thing was... The symbol of avarice, which is a helmet. And you're going to want to go from the equip side on this one. All the way at the bottom. Monster head resembling a treasure chest. Once an ancient god, it is said this is the symbol of shame imposed on a long lost clan, exiled for the sin of avarice, wearing this slightly raises soul absorption and item discovery, but also affects its wearer with the curse of the branded. Press triangle. Magic defense is better than what you had, but that's not the point. Press triangle again. Item discovery. 300. And? And better poise. Uh, item discovery and soul re reward after killing everything. So if you want to super farm. If you want to super farm. You can put this one on. Okay, in combination with other things. Check it out. Look at it. Ridiculous. Absolutely absurd. Hilarious, nonetheless. 
But look at your life bar. It's going down. Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> my face! Don't die. Oh, my God. I'm dead. He wants his symbol of avarice back. He took his helmet back, bro. All right, you don't have time to water to feel sorrow because this life keeps draining, even if you're sitting at a bonfire. Why not even bother? Why That's not right. even bother? So there you go. It's the only way that you can be... Well, you know what? I'm not going to say that because I don't know if other things can do it. But if you're sitting at the bonfire wearing that helmet and you don't move for the time it takes for your life to drain, you're going to drop dead while you sit at the bonfire. That's nuts. Yep. But when you want to farm, it'll farm. Just keep an eye out on it. Keep an eye on it. Okay. Um, so, with that, all you got is that one treasure chest, mm -hmm. Big Hat Logan, and the Fog Gate. And that bonfire, right? Was there a bonfire? What bonfire? No, there was no bonfire. No, there's the first one that you used to walk in. Yeah. There's the one over by the prison. Yeah. That you got locked into. And then there's this one, this which one, is the third that's one. It, yeah. But uh, as far as the, the archives go, those are the only three things you have left. Okay. Perfect. Half hollow? Half hollow. Half hollow. Half hollow. It sounds like it. It sounds like it. The zone is a fuck. And the carry is no longer real. That's fair. That's fair. It had to happen. Mm -hmm. It would be, you know, it, it's not fun if it's if it's easy, you know. Nope. That's how it is. The carry has stopped. But um, good job. You cleared out almost the entirety of that zone, right? So, um, that's that's pretty cool. There's of course still more things ahead. Yeah. But as far as what's behind you goes, like, pretty thorough. And you took on the Four Kings, which are also a wall. And, uh, you know, you, you, you did it. You did it. I did do the Kings, it's true. So then why I do I still the feel this here. way? Yeah. He thinks to himself. Yeah. Why do I feel like this? What's going on? This is the the seesaw, the seesaw of the of the game, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. That's what it does to you. This is how. This is the probably the fourth one, maybe the fifth, you know. And uh, it's it's just you. You're, it's a familiar feeling at this point. Oh, good old friend coming back. Comes you know? right back, but you know what? It always proceeds, right? Usually there's sunshine after. There you go. Usually there's something like, oh, wow. And sunshine precedes a fall. And then you get back up, and then there's sunshine. Yep. You got a peak. This is what we're doing. Over the windowsill, you know. <laughs> Look out the window. <laughs> this is what we're doing. You already been here. You already know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So this time around, the hollowing, yeah, half hollow. Don't go full hollow. But... Um, once you walk through those golden fog gates, the game said, okay. Damn, you, beat, you made it here. You beat on Orlando. You placed the Lord Vessel at bare minimum, right? You might not have done Kath yet. You might not have done the Abyss yet. But at bare minimum, you just beat Ornstein and Smog. So, let's go, you know? Time for you to 
Put up or shut up. I'm going to put up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put up. Mm-hmm. Um, the game will continue to catch up with you to a certain point. And then it stops. And once it does, you'll know. <laughs> It'll be painfully obvious. Ominous. Obvious. I'm saying ominous. Ominous. <laughs> there will be a point at which the game will no longer keep up with you. Okay. It's racing. It's The race continues. And then you pull ahead at a certain point And then never look back. You'll know when it happens. Okay. Um, in the meantime, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Take care. Glass Holo- half hollow. Glass half hollow. Half, half hollow. <laughs> half hollow. Not half. Not half uh, uh, full. <laughs> half empty. Yeah. All right. <laughs>